Hi, my name is Steve Williamson, and I'm here at FDIC, and I brought my lucky rabbit's foot with me here. So I wanted to show you this great new CAL FIRE Mobile Command Center C42X3. Uh, the chassis has a Cummins L9 engine uh, and is 56,000 pounds EVWR. Uh, the body is a beautiful, seamless, uh, no fastener body, heavy duty, built for 30 years of use. It's got three slide outs on it. Uh, it has a photokite install, installed on the outside compartment here. Uh, we have drop down, fold up entry steps. Uh, on this side of the truck, there is a uh, monitor compartment. This allows the officers to do a briefing or view video from other sources or provide information to the crews here on the scene. Uh, there's a uh, full length awning on the passenger side of the truck. And then you'll see on the rear of the truck, there's a 42 foot pneumatic mast. On the top of that mast are two high definition WTI mass cameras, and there's also a PA system installed up there. For these trucks, to accommodate the high heat in California, we've installed a four-ton HVAC system. This is a northern air unit, uh, powerful enough to cool a house. This will do a great job of keeping the truck, uh, all the officers, and all the equipment cool during, it, during their events. This truck is powered by a 25,000 watt generator installed in this driver's side compartment here. This compartment is designed to bring the air in through this louvered panel, across the generator, and out the other side to keep the generator cooled as much as possible. For emergency lighting, we've installed a Wayland emergency light package, which includes a light bar, uh, driver side, passenger side, and rear emergency lighting. For scene lighting, we've installed tripod lights mounted onto the front of the vehicle. These can be removed and deployed as needed uh, throughout the scene. Hi, I'm Jason Brown from Pierce Clearwater. I'm a systems engineering manager, and we're inside the CAL FIRE truck here. So as soon as you step into the vehicle, you can see here's the power distribution and control for all the DC lighting uh, around the vehicle. So you can start your generator, you can battery parallel, you can turn on all the scene lighting for uh, setup of the vehicle. Over here to the other side, we've got the AC power panel for distribution to the racks, uh, selecting between uh, shore power and the generator. Um, also, we have here to the left, we have the equipment racks, which houses all of the main components that make the truck do what it does technology-wise. If we step into here, into the uh, communications area, we have workstations set up with four different networks for secure and other, other types of data. Uh, we have mass camera control connections, we have router inputs from laptops that allow it to be distributed around the entire vehicle. The router lets anything go anywhere, and each display can display either the local laptop plugged in or anything that's on the router. Other things that are on the router are the mass camera that Steve showed you outside, which this is the video coming from the mass camera. We actually have two cameras on the mast for two different vantage points at the same time. Workstations also have uh, computers that come up for dispatch control of the radio system. This truck has a Telex radio interop and dispatch system, so multiple radios for multiple agencies are able to be connected, whether it's local law enforcement, fire, um, anybody uh, who would be involved in a situation. We can cross band a couple different radio frequencies and allow the agencies to be able to talk to each other at the same time. Uh, also as part of the dispatch uh, workstations, we have this uh, uh, jack plug-in box for using headsets so you can have the silence required for dispatch operations. If we step over into the other room, command area, so we have roll around chairs that can pull up to the table in the center for making the big decisions. We have a large display here that can bring up maps or anything else you may want to write on uh, because that's a touch panel as well. And again, there's some more workstations that give you the ability to 
network and route your laptop images. Also in this truck is a satellite TV receiver, a satellite uh, VSAT antenna for satellite networking, uh, internet connectivity. Well, thanks for taking the tour of the CAL FIRE Mobile Command Center, and I hope you enjoy FDIC 2019.